here we go. All this stuff's kind of nasty. You can see the nastiness on this rim where I already started applying the rouge lube. Here's the rouge lube. Okay, we got the polish. We got the 8 inch pad. We got the flanges. And we got the wheel. So let's begin to polish. Now this wheel is just loaded with calcium chloride, okay? This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying calcium chloride. Calcium chloride you'll find to be the black and the black pepper-like substance that is stuck to the rim. Okay? It also looks like little white accents to a rim that you haven't touched yet. But if you go and rub it, you'll see all that black and pepper. That is calcium chloride. You should take that off with an aluminum brightener or acid wash it and or just use rouge lube like this if you don't have any of those uh, chemicals. So anyways, we're just going to start shining this up. We're going to apply the rouge lube with the steel wool and then start buffing. Okay. If it gets to be really bad, I will just cut the rouge loop off without applying any stick. After I get the initial cut, I'll come back and apply the stick to the pad, the yellow bar, to the pad, and start cutting again. Just take notes. use the uh, 600 to 3600 RPM car polisher with the 8 inch airway buff and a cut and color bar with rouge loop. What I do is I shake the rouge loop, apply a small amount to the steel wool and commence putting it on there. Now, I don't advise really rubbing it in unless you got some troubled areas like tar or you got a lot of that pepper stuff. You can just scratch that off of there. Don't worry about that scratching the rim. It's not going to. You're going to be buffing it and polishing it. So, apply it like that. Just get some on here. Work it in a little bit. Just apply it. And just start. Okay. You want to use full RPMs on this? So turn it up. So, if you want to apply just a small amount of
like to see is fuck around when you hit like it. Come up to an edge. It will fuck on you. Take it. Take it. Stay away from the edge. It will start coming in. your rim on your truck now the history on this rim is this one has never been polished for like four or five years because they usually concentrate on his trucks his semi trucks only so this one is like severe damage but they can still come out to a nice mirror finish for you we can see uh, the difference here so we got what it started to look like Okay, that's actually some rouge leave on there. But here's what it started to look like. All that black salt and pepper to where you're actually getting a nice shine coming out, okay? Now, there's a lot of uh, oils left in this rim. So after I get done polishing the whole thing, I'll take, I don't know, a couple capfuls of Dawn dishwashing liquid and a bucket of water and wash this rim and then dry it off. Okay, any areas that you can't reach with the buffer, you should use your hand to get those areas. Okay, this is going to take some uh, 
it, it, like I said, this condition of this room is really old. You can use uh, steel wool on the inside of these holes to clean those up. And I'll be taking this rim off to polish around the lugs. So, if you want to get the kit, get your rims all cleaned up. One of the easiest ways I know how is to order my kit. Contact truckpolisher at gmail.com. Go to the website, truckpolisher.com. We'll see you there. Thank you for watching.